Hello and welcome to Calagra Market. Now before we get started, we'll just wait for a couple of minutes to see if we are live. We'll also see if we have enough janta in. Is our stream working? Is our audio good? Is our video good? I'm just waiting for to see one chat. Yes, Manish is here. Hi Manish. Hi Shubham. Hi everyone. Okay, so um, we'll start off the day with yesterday's analysis. What happened yesterday? We we'll look at what happens today and more importantly we'll figure out what is going to happen tomorrow in the expiry right so on that note let's get started with calagram market our daily analysis of nifty bank nifty and dollar uh, sorry so yesterday we had said that until and unless 15850 zone is broken there is no bullish case scenario to be imagined so even today we saw nifty go very close to 5850 it could not hold on to that level there was a rejection and it came down now let's look at early candle to see <coughs> what happened in terms of action you can see that right at the top there was quite a bit of selling so interesting things nifty is above the 50 week hourly moving average and the 100 hourly moving average it's below the 50 200 hourly moving average but nevertheless today we could see that some very high volumes happened at the top of nifty is today high so somebody sold big time somewhere around this region right that is very unmistakably clear from this picture so chart wise nothing has changed much we are still waiting for nifty to give a close above this level that we have been observing for a long time now right so the 18 15, uh, 15 850 to 15 900 zone is always going to be a massive massive zone of resistance and we haven't really seen anything break out of it so we are going to watch it but on the other hand the 15 700 zone is also proving very difficult to break so we are going to watch that on the downside too so today also you can see that nifty had massive buying at 15700 zone today now here's the interesting part right today is a green candle with big volumes but if you break it down by hourlies it's very obvious that most of the volumes were actually sell volumes at the top now this is very interesting right this is something which you often see in hourly analysis if you break it down the rejection candles or the selling candle in the evening were the bigger ones and not the buying candles in the morning uh, nevertheless 15900 to 15700 indeed is our zone to watch till it is broken it is not clear what the market will do today they sold calls here they bought puts so sold puts here net call change says 3 million short but 3, 3 million unwinding but that has happened at higher level so you can conveniently ignore that option chain wise 15700 has a lot of support and 15800 900 and 16000 has some call volumes pcr is one that is bullish but again somewhere around this region it is all even steven the first 15700 is actually quite a good support and we have seen that every day so it's very difficult for nifty to break 15700 this expiry is pretty clear so let's write out all of that so what do we know so far chart has support at 15700 and resistance at 15900 option chain is also having the same thing option chain is following the chart for a change and pcr is neutral to bullish now let's look at fi data and today's fi data interest is uh, interesting it's very tempting to say that this is a very bullish looking thing because there are 27000 calls bought and around i don't know why i have them and around 7000 <laughs> puts sold so that might seem like bullish but one day to expiry this could just be squaring off of sold call positions which do not have any premium left and it does not justify even locking that margin so one day before expiry if there's a lot of call buying i'm not sure if i should take it seriously or not uh, because it is contradicting with futures which is short by 24 uh, 100 crores stock is also sold oi of futures has decreased by around 500 crores so net net option data is less clear uh, because overall anyway puts are more than calls but um, today they bought calls and sold put futures data is massively short uh, oi data oi has decreased which indicates uh, bearishness 
and stock data is also sell so verdict is pretty simple on nifty with this is a wait and watch so there are no points for heroism here we can short the upper k call short the niche ka put short both and wait but then uh, uh, basically do you want to be straddle seller in a range which is guaranteed to give a big move if it is broken that's a question you have to answer how much are you willing to gamble for a weekly premium tomorrow it doesn't make sense it's going to be tiny premium so for me i'll stay short till nifty index breaks 18 uh, uh 15 850 because like i'm selling options i have to take one side so i decided to pick upper wala side um, because if i do this right i'm gonna get lucky at least on one side if i do both i'm going to get definitely unlucky on one side so if you are asking the question why don't you do the straddle i know for a fact if it moves one of my straddles is going to be really destroyed so i'd rather sell a call or a put with a stop loss than sell a straddle but then that's just me right you don't have to do that but it looks like in this expiry it is highly unlikely that nifty will break either 15900 or 15700 we are going to see an expiry between 700 and 900 in all probability bank nifty again like we said yesterday is unless bank nifty breaks this level that is 33600 it doesn't look like we have got much of an upside going on so i am going to yeah i'm going to wait and watch this level somewhere around around this zone sorry i'll just remove this somewhere around this zone to see ki boss chal kya raha hai pe, right and today also it is uh, a lot of rejection not this zone sorry somewhere around this zone and today also there's a lot of rejection in terms of price action but basically today is a negative candle it's a doji uh, so not a clear thing as to what to do right so maybe we can take a call on what is going to happen after this expiry we don't have to jump in to the heroism of trying to predict the market but if you ask me what's my bias i'm definitely bearish because 5850 is not getting broken and the overall trend see regardless of what you think about the short term trend there's no mistaking that the long term trend is clearly down whether we are looking at nifty or bank nifty essentially if you are buying here you're betting on a reversal because we are clearly downtrending it is lower tops and lower bottoms right finally going to usd and usd and it has gone into its own trajectory nothing has changed again uh, there's no point in trying to uh, uh, enter here if you have calls long or futures long you can hold on to them but net net nifty is not going to be a good time to buy unless we have a clear breakout above 15850 with volumes bank nifty not going to be a good buying unless we have 33600 crossed with volumes us dollar you shouldn't short i'm not going to ask you to buy because if you buy here it's difficult to get a good stop loss meaningful stop loss because your stop loss would be the beginning of this candle and that's pretty deep right uh, net net uh, the usd inr trade is entirely strictly based on intraday movements if you find dollar coming down and forming like a bullish hammer or something you can buy with this uh, with the bottom of that hammer being the stop so for example now this is difficult because it's not giving that kind of candle formation either but yeah so overall my read is that uh, we have a lot more pain left in the market and uh, i'm not going to be uh, you know saying ki recession aayega etc etc <coughs> But I think sorry, fifteen eight fifty. So sorry, sorry, eighteen eight fifty. I don't know why I said eighteen eight eight fifty. Yeah. Thank you, Ravi, uh, for pointing this out. So, what about the GDP from USA? Satya is asking. Satya, the point is this, right? Market does what it wants to do all the time, right? If the, for so for so everybody says that market. Um, uh, so everybody says that market reacts to news fundamentals microeconomic macroeconomic etc but i don't think that is the case market does what it is supposed to do where it is technically positioned right so if the technical positioning of the market is a buy then it will ignore bad news and react to the mildest of good news if the technical 
positioning of the market is sell it will not react to even the best of good news it will ignore it and sell off even at the slightest of bad news i am not sure if us gdp is big enough a data point for india to ignore the technical positioning of the market which is right now a sell positioning so unless that fundamentally changes i am not sure if us gdp or any of those things will have a significant impact on indian markets right so let's see what happens tomorrow after tomorrow uh, the the open interest on calls and puts of this monthly expiry will change and we should have some sense of clear momentum but till then it's not really worth it to take heavy positions see it's it's not like you shouldn't trade you can trade the catch of course is that you have to be clear about uh, what is your uh, bet size ah sorry sorry bearish below 15 850 thank you thank you thank you so till clear direction comes i would really want to keep my positions low once clear momentum comes we can go all in or you know at a slightly bigger quantity so that is our read for today we'll see you again tomorrow as usual this is not tips or recommendation or advice the most important thing is to do your bet size risk management and capital deployment carefully so on that note i hope tomorrow's expiry turns will be profitable for everyone i'll see you guys again tomorrow thanks for joining good night goodbye and keep your capital safe